Hi, I'm Hiroya Yamazaki, a former graduate student in the Graduate School of Bio Studies, Kyoto University. Today, I'd like to introduce our recent research progress on how protein phosphorylation regulates liquid liquid phase separation. Protein phosphorylation is one of the most important post translational modifications which regulate the activity in the behavior of cellular proteins in various cellular events such as cell cycle, cell signaling and gene expression. The addition of a phosphate group to a specific part of the target protein changes its interaction with the partner protein or its ligand, directly or indirectly, via a three-dimensional structure-dependent manner. However, studies on phosphoproteomics demonstrated that more than 70% of phosphorylation occurs in the region without any three-dimensional structures, which is the so-called intrinsically disordered region, or IDR. Recent studies demonstrated that IDRs undergo liquid-liquid phase separation, LLPS, in the intracellular milieu, which underpins the structural and functional dynamics of various intracellular membrane-less organelles, such as nucleoli, heterochromatin, stress granules, and peabodies. Phosphorylation and other post-translational modifications regulate the LLPS, but the mechanism has been elusive so far. In our recently published paper, we found that phosphorylation regulates LLPS by changing the charge block distribution along the IDR. Let's look at what we have done. We focused on nuclear proteins which are heavily phosphorylated upon the entry of mitosis. Nucleophosmin, NPM1, plays a critical role in the formation of nucleoli, a liquid-like organelle in interphase. Upon the entry of mitosis, nucleoli dissolute and NPM1 is dispersed into the cytoplasm. Ki67 exists in the perinuclear chromosomal regions in interphase, and forms a liquid-like phase on the chromosome surface upon the entry of mitosis. Both NPM1 and Ki67 are IDR-rich proteins, and our phosphoproteomic analyses identified more than 10 residues in NPM1 and more than 100 in Ki67, which are phosphorylated upon the entry of mitosis. We compared the charge distribution of the IDRs in the interphase and mitotic forms. The IDR of NPM1 carries several alternating charge blocks in the interphase form, and mitotic phosphorylation seems to diminish the positive blocks. In contrast, the repeat domain of Ki67 has positive charges in the interphase form, and mitotic phosphorylation generates a negative block in the C-terminal half. Previous studies in polymer science have demonstrated that a polymer chain with segregated charges exhibits stronger LLPS than the chain with the same number of charged residues but randomly distributed. So, we speculated that the addition of multiple phosphate groups may enhance the charge blocks in the case of Ki67 and reduce them in the case of NPM1, which results in the opposite effect on the LLPS. Here are some results from in vitro experiments. We purified one of the repeats of Ki67 repeat domain and found that the LLPS was significantly enhanced by phosphorylation by CDK1. Phosphomimetic mutation also had the same effect. Notably, when we mimicked the charge distribution of the phosphorylated form, by replacing the non-phosphorylatable residues could also mimic the LLPS. We observed the opposite effect of phosphorylation in NPM1. The non-phosphorylated form of NPM1 is strongly phase-separated, and it is diminished by CDK1 phosphorylation. Phosphomimetic mutant, as well as charge block mimetic mutant, also had reduced propensity of LLPS than the wild type. We also demonstrated that these phosphorylation-dependent regulations of LLPS propensity are tightly correlated to the dissolution of nucleoli in the case of NPM1 and the formation of chromosome periphery in the case of Ki67. In summary, the results obtained from two nuclear phosphoproteins, NPM1 and Ki67, demonstrated a new and fundamental mechanism of how protein phosphorylation regulates LLPS when the cell enters mitosis. Our phosphoproteomic analyses also showed that mitotic hyperphosphorylation enhances or reducing the charge blockiness of other nuclear proteins, suggesting that they are involved in the assembly and dissolution of nucleoli during mitosis. The detailed data are presented in this paper. We hope it is of interest to you.